Good morning everybody and welcome to wildlife and nature vlog number two. If uh, this is your first time visiting the channel and you enjoy videos like this then uh, please consider subscribing by just clicking that uh, icon below and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next episode. During the lockdown period, I've been growing uh, apple tree plants from seed and uh, they're getting a bit out of hand now. They're starting to take over my apartment. So I thought it'd be a good idea to just uh, bring a couple out and just plant them in the meadow. And uh, hopefully they'll take and uh, we can monitor the progress over the coming months and we'll uh, see how far we can get with them. So we're up bright and early this morning, it's about quarter to six. Um, slightly damp underfoot, but it is quite a pleasant morning. And um, just planted the two little apple trees. We'll be able to keep an eye on those. And uh, we're just approaching the kestrel box. So that's another thing we can check on. And uh, we'll uh, see what else we can find. Just going back to the previous video where I spotted all the butterflies and insects. Um, there's lots, lots of insects, loads of butterflies. But I also managed to see um, a dragonfly, quite a large brown one. Um, I wasn't quick enough to get it on camera. But uh, that's the second time I've seen a dragonfly now. So uh, they're obviously around, but uh, I just need to try and capture one on film. But uh, yesterday I did purchase a new camera. I've uh, just bought a Nikon D7000. Doesn't come with a lens. Um, I got it off eBay. Um, but yeah, it doesn't come with a lens, but it's a very low shutter count. It's only got about two and a half thousand uh, aperture clicks, which is really low, so I'm really pleased with that. I slightly paid slightly more than I wanted, but I was really happy with that. And it comes with a few little bits and pieces like um, a remote shutter, um, extra camera straps. Uh, I think there's a filter on it as well. I'm really looking forward to getting that. Now I just need to uh, find myself a lens to go with it. So uh, that might be uh, next month. So uh, I won't be using the camera just yet, but uh, I am looking forward to getting that. So uh, that's something to keep your eye on. Right, we're just approaching the uh, Kestrel box, as I said. So we'll uh, just go and have a quick check and uh, see if the youngsters are around and then we'll move on. You can see the blackberries are just starting to turn. So they're getting there slowly. I need something to go with my raspberries and my apples. This is the area that I spotted most of the insects and the butterflies. It's just a blanket of thistles and uh, blackberry brambles. And they were absolutely, I just stood here and you could see a couple of bees, but then the more you looked, the whole area was just awash with bees and insects and butterflies and those uh, common red soldier beetles were absolutely everywhere it was moving with insects now it's just quiet apart from that bird in the background right i've just checked the uh, nest box and there's nothing there nobody's uh, nobody's home but I did see one of the youngsters just fly uh, along the perimeter of the field into another tree. So there is one kicking about. But uh, I do think we're just going to see less and less of them now. So uh, any sighting we get is a bonus. Anybody new to the channel or these uh, this series of wildlife and nature vlog videos may not be aware that... Uh, I do put a wildlife camera out 
on a regular basis um, to track the foxes that are in and around these fields and woodland. I've not put it out for a, probably a week now, um, but uh, when the better weather comes, because we've had a lot of rain, when the better weather comes, uh, I'll be placing the camera in this meadow actually, because um, there are some cubs that I've been tracking with the parents and uh, we'll see how they're progressing. As I keep wandering around, I keep uh, I keep remembering other insects that I've spotted. I forgot to tell you about grasshoppers. That was another one. Loads of those. I could hear them everywhere, and I managed to spot a few as well. Um, I did take a couple of photos, but they were that well camouflaged. You couldn't see them. I couldn't get close enough to get a really good photo. It's amazing how things look so different at this time in the morning. There's just no insects around at all. No butterflies. I've just seen one moth. It just makes you wonder where do they all go? Where do they where do they hide and sleep when it's raining and uh, at night? But yeah, later on, no doubt they'll all be back out. Especially if the uh, if it's as sunny as it was yesterday, a really nice uh, afternoon, really warm, really sunny, and they were out in force. So I'll uh, probably be checking again later this afternoon. So we might catch you later. I literally had to watch where I was walking. I was walking along here and there was red admirals just sat on the grass on the path, just uh, sunning the wings. So I had to really be careful. I am picking up quite a lot of fox scent this morning. So they're uh, clearly still in and around the meadows. I can hear one of the kestrels. hear it just over there somewhere there you go there's a couple of common red soldier beetles having a bit of a chat <coughs> or something you can see how quickly the water level drops it's obviously draining very well now that stream I did notice some small fish in here yesterday as well. So that's a sign of a healthy stream. Shouldn't really have to do this, but if people like me don't do it, then who will? You don't have to walk far to find more. both ends of the spectrum there next to each other start of life with a new fungi and let it just left there's another one the sad fact is all that litter will be back later this evening I guarantee it. One good thing about all this damp weather is you can pick out the animal tracks a lot easier. But that's only a dog, nothing worthy of note. Can you see what I can see? Gives you an idea of how small that is. And they stood on it. Now 
Now I did mention earlier on that uh, I'll probably come out this afternoon sometime to check up on the butterflies and the insects. But unfortunately, that particular afternoon was yesterday and uh, the rest of the day just absolutely chucked it down. So I never managed to get out. Um, early this morning, it was pretty much the same. So uh, it's about half nine now in the morning. It's quite warm, it's quite pleasant. So I've uh, decided to come out now and uh, have a look around. I've already just seen um, a moth out of the corner of my eye. So I know there are insects about. Um, with regards to the butterflies, it's quite a, a new sort of skill identifying the butterflies for me. I mean, I've known the, you know, the peacock and red admiral, tortoise shell, but uh, as regards the other ones, um, I'm just starting to learn those. So if you can help me out in any way, um, if you know your butterflies and you can uh, correct me on any that I've been uh, labeling on the photos, then please do so in the comments. And I've just seen one just fly out of the tree and back in again. So uh, they're obviously still about, the youngsters, so I shall go and check on those shortly. But uh, in the meantime, let's go and uh, see if we can see any butterflies. So this one, I believe, is the gatekeeper. Going by the colour and those two little spots on its wings. Again, I could be wrong, so please correct me. I'll leave in a comment if you know any different. You can see the red soldier beetles. They really do like these thistles. They're absolutely everywhere. Apparently, they like all the aphids that are on these thistles. And that's what, that's what they're trying to find and eat. Another one that likes the aphids, and that's the ladybird. Not quite as active. Now this one I think is a skipper. There's another one there. But I'm not 100% sure that's not a moth. Just had a quick look at the nest box and the, uh, there's still a couple of kestrels youngsters hanging around so they're still uh, still not gone yet maybe that's the two um, younger ones of the four that's probably uh, three and four of the batch maybe one and two have actually gone and there's just three and four just giving it a few more days before they uh, take off into the big wide world we wish them well. Apologies to all those that aren't keen on spiders. Now I do know the name of this, I've spotted this one before. But the name has completely gone out of my head. I can't remember what it's called. But it basically makes that kind of nest and then it lays its eggs inside there. Those same eggs that I believe are there. There's another one of those spiders. Look how those droplets are just formed on the uh, on the web. But I spotted that because I've just noticed this bittersweet nightshade, which I'd already spotted. Uh, a few weeks ago, down the bridle way, well, this has now appeared in the meadow. I've never noticed that one before, not in here. It's a very yellow bumblebee. Another one.
See the stream's been cleared now. And as you can hear, it's flowing even better now. Right, so there you go. That's uh, vlog number two in the Wildlife and Nature series. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's uh, been more about the butterflies and the insects than this one. Uh, and I'm keen to learn more about the different species of butterflies. So if you can help me out on that, that'd be great. Please leave a comment below. So if you did enjoy that, then please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, just click on the icon here. And don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on the next episode. What will it be in the next one? Who knows? Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.